everybody. Here today for a quick video because I gotta go ski this pretty sick line that hasn't been skied yet since the last storm. But today I wanted to talk about how your videos are going to suck. And I am absolutely positive you'll agree with me by the end of this video, so hear me out. I'm making this video out there for the aspiring filmmakers and the people that are out there uh, making videos on the weekends of all their adventures. Face it, your videos suck. But guess what? Mine suck too, because of one reason. You will always be getting better. And so what I mean by that is, go look at a video you made a week ago, or a month ago, or a year ago. Watch it again, and tell me if you don't believe that video sucked. This happens to me all the time. I swear to God, after every video I make, I'll go watch it a week later and go, damn, that video sucks. Because I'm getting better every single day. Whether that's in my storytelling or video editing or video shooting, uh, I'm trying to get better and I, you know, hopefully I am getting better. Which means everything I've done up until this point isn't going to be as good as what I can make in the future. Because obviously I'm getting better, you know? So I'm not out here telling you that your video will actually suck because that's the best you can do every time you make it. But never be satisfied with any of the videos that you make. Sure, there comes a time and place when you finish a video and you put all that hard work into it, and yeah, it's awesome. And you should be proud of it. But at the same time, you can always be better and you can always make a better video. And you know deep down in your mind, that you could have made that shot better, or you could have told that story better, or you could have spent a little, little more time editing. But you know, you just like, that's good enough. And those are the things that you can always get better at. Whether it's, you know, putting that camera down, hiking off into the distance, <laughs> coming back for the camera to pick it back up, and then keep going about your hike or your tour or whatever it is. So it's those little things that add up to making good video after good video, which turn into great video after great video, and then eventually you reach the level where maybe all of your videos are awesome, but I don't think there's a single filmmaker out there that would think every single video that they make from here on out is amazing or couldn't be better in some way or another, you know? So don't think I'm insulting your videos, but it's hard to argue when you look back a year ago, two years ago, or even five years ago at a video you made and been like, damn, at the time I thought that was awesome, but now I'm like, that's crap. Especially for the ones out there making GoPro videos. And I am a guilty, guilty offender for those making the GoPro videos because my GoPro videos before I had the gimbal were horrendous. I mean, so much camera shake and just no depth of field. It was just a terrible video to watch. But at the time it was awesome. And my only million view video was filmed primarily on a GoPro, like 95% one. So not that it's a bad video, but when I look back, I'm like, that was a terrible filmmaking and editing wise video. So, you know, take it for what it's worth and maybe you disagree. So let me know in the comments below if you think all of your videos are awesome. I would love to check them out because I'm always trying to learn. So if you can make an awesome video, that'd be a tremendous teaching tool for all of us. So let me know if you agree with that or not. I feel like it's a common uh, theme amongst filmmakers that they never think their videos are as good as they should be. But I'm gonna go ski this line. Check you later. Faces merchant change.